Hello! Today we are going to Bozcaada, Turkey. Bozcaada is one of my favorite places. It's a little Turkish island in the Aegean Sea. And in order to get there, you need to take a ferry from a little town called Geikli in Çanakkale. Uh, you can get to Geikli via car or a bus. And from there, you take the ferry, which takes about half an hour. And the island is full of beautiful beaches and wineries and very tasty food and restaurants. So I'll be talking about all of those shortly. When you reach Bozcaada, one of the first things that greet you is the harbour with small boats and behind the boats you can see some of the restaurants. Uh, this neighbourhood is called the Turkish neighbourhood and it's right at the centre of the island. As you exit the harbour, on the right side you are greeted by a little bazaar where there are different stalls that sell uh, jewellery and some mementos from the island like magnets or uh, wine bottles and there are also some stands that do jam uh, Some of these are very popular in the island like different uh, Local jams such as the tomato jam and they also most of these stalls sell uh, herbs like uh, Thyme and dried mint which is really popular for this area So it's mostly called like the mountain thyme and they also have like um milk jam and uh, some fruit jams as well. As I mentioned, the area behind the harbour is called the Turkish neighbourhood and as you keep on walking, when you get behind the castle side, that area is called the Greek neighbourhood because this island used to be populated with Greeks uh, in the old times and there are still some influences that you can see around. Of course, one of the main attractions of Bozcaada is the beautiful beaches and when you drive around the island, you get to see a lot of little bays that are not really crowded with a lot of people so you get a more sense of seclusion from those. Right now, we're in Ayana Beach, which is one of the smaller beaches in Bozcaada. If you prefer a sunbed and umbrella, then there are a couple bigger beaches like Ayazma. But if you prefer the quiet and serene environment with less people, then this is one of the better beaches. Ayana is a beach that we discovered this year and other than us, there was only a few couples, so it was really nice and quiet. Uh, but there are a lot more beaches on the island, like uh, Aquarium Ova, Habele, the Mitos Beach. Uh, from among those, the most well known is the Ayazma Beach. It's, uh, as far as I know, one of the two beaches that has some beds and umbrellas. And the benefit of going to Ayazma Beach is not just the sunbeds and umbrellas but there are also a lot of nice restaurants uh, on top of the beach so if you get hungry you get more options Whitey Yeri is one of the restaurants that is right next to Ayazma beach and it has one of the biggest meta bars that you can see and most of these restaurants actually have a similar setup that they serve mezes and Everything is done with fresh produce and they use a lot of feta and a lot of vegetables and a lot of herbs and in every restaurant you get to find fresh fish and fresh seafood uh, that is very common in this area. Uh, there are a couple meat restaurants but I've never tried them because I'm a seafood fan. How I met Bozcaada over 10 years ago was during a wine tasting festival that was organized by Corvus and all the other um, wineries were attending. And there are four or five big wineries on the island such as Corvus, Amadeus, Talai and Çamgıba. And there's also uh, cafes that each of these brands have where you can enjoy their wines and also buy bottles if you want. And there's also Sula Winery which is on the other side of the coast in Ejabat. And on the way 
back to Istanbul you can stop there and enjoy a nice lunch uh, buy wines and also uh, buy some other produce like tomatoes uh, jams olives and different things it takes about two hours to get to Suga from Bozjada so it's always a nice uh, little break on the road back home You should not return from Bozjada without seeing the sunset. This might be one of the most beautiful sunsets you're going to see with the Aegean Sea on one side and the wind turbines on the other. I hope you enjoy seeing Bozjada with me and if you don't want to miss any other videos just subscribe to my channel. Bye!